Welcome to Install 104, Rack Mounting FADs and V-Series Storage Controllers and Disk Shells. The building block videos are targeted at NetApp and partner engineers as well as do-it-yourself customers. Always consult the most recent documentation before starting any work. In this video, we will discuss how to create a plan for installing components into a cabinet, then how to execute that plan by mounting the disk shells and storage controllers into the cabinet often referred to as racking and stacking. Planning cabinet layout. There's a saying, if you fail to plan, you have planned to fail, which is why we always take at least a few minutes to come up with a plan for how to install the system components into a cabinet. This saves time by figuring out in advance if there's enough physical space and electrical power or outlets we want the components installed. The first components to plan for are the storage controllers, which NetApp recommends placing near the center of a cabinet where maintenance is easiest to perform. Another best practice is to install disk shelves in descending order below the storage controllers and in ascending order above the controllers to have the shortest distance from the controllers to the first shelf of each shelf stack. A diagram for planning component layout is called a rack elevation diagram. The diagram can be highly detailed, like a Visio diagram, which can be created using templates on VisioCafe.com. Or it can be a simpler rep representation created in a spreadsheet. Create a plan, even if it's just a scribble on a piece of scrap paper, to prevent additional work later on to make up for lack of planning. In install 103, we mounted the first set of rail kits at the bottom of the cabinet to hold a 3 rack unit or 3U high dish shelf. Components slide in from the front of the cabinet and we can see the mounting holes line up with the cage nuts in the rail. Before we fasten the shelf, we use a spirit level to verify that it is level. The next set of rail kits lay on top of the dish shelf and line up with the hole in the cabinet rails and there is no need to use the bubble level for the rest of the install. Once again, we use a template that came with our 6U high storage controller to determine where to insert the cage nuts. And you'll see for a 6U high unit that we need to install two cage nuts on the left and right side. Using a two-man lift, we have placed the storage controller on the rail kits. Slowly push it in and ensure the holes line up with the cage nuts. When installing the screws, do not tighten the screws until all screws are partially installed. You may find as you're putting in screws that you have to shift the component to the left or right or even possibly lift it up to get all the holes to line up completely. And then once all screws are in, go ahead and hand tighten them. Now that you know how to rack and stack components into a cabinet, we recommend viewing Install 105 to learn how to set IDs on the disk shelves. 